everyone, I'm Nasis and welcome to my channel. Today, we will going to talk about a quite sensitive issue here in Nigeria. This is about being a gay or homosexual here in Nigeria. The first time I saw a Nigerian gay on TV, it was way back 2014. There was a noontime show in the Philippines and they had a gay beauty contest and they called contestants from different countries and one of them is Miss Nigeria. And guess what? The Nigerian gay won the contest. Turn to the Philippines, my home away from home, where I was made a queen, has filled me with so much loving, happy memories. You didn't only make history by crowning me as the first ever Super Serena Worldwide, you crowned the first black trans woman in an international beauty competition. Together we proved that there is space for beauty to be diverse and inclusive of all genders, skin tones and backgrounds. And because of the TV show, we knew that being homosexual is not allowed here in Nigeria. The gay contestant said that according to Nigerian law, if the authorities will catch you of displaying gay attitude or having relationship with your fellow man, you will be in prison for 14 years. Hmm. That's why Filipinos are aware that most Nigerians doesn't like gay. But let me clarify that 14 years imprisonment applies to sexual intercourse between men if they will catch you or you've been reported. Today it's a, a major case of an arrest of suspected gay members who are about to be initiated into a gay club in Lagos. But I'm an HIV person, they don't even care about it. And they say they're doing investigation. I'm not a gay. What's your name? What's your name? My name is Obiala James. And while doing my research, I knew that there's Sharia law in 12 northern states here in Nigeria. And it criminalizes same-sex intimacy between both men and women. They also prohibits acts of gross indecency between men or the procurement or attempted procurement thereof with a penalty of three years imprisonment. Wow. And 10 years imprisonment in case you are operating or participating in any gay clubs, societies, or organizations, or making a public show of a same-sex relationship. It means that if you support the LGBT organization here in Nigeria, you will also imprison for 3 years. Wow. They are really strict, but... Wait a minute, if they are strict like this, why Bob Risky is so famous, right? Bob Risky is a Nigerian internet personality who is known as a transgender woman here in Nigeria, a country with no LGBT rights. So, girls, our motto this year is the Lord's dream. I repeat, is the Lord's dream. Whenever your friend asks you, Oh, girl, who bought you that car? Girl, who bought you that house? Who bought you that Rolex? Just tell them, my darling, is the Lord's doing. She became recognized by being highly controversial on social media for the ultra-conservative Nigerian standards. Bob Risky was able to gather traffic to her Snapchat account when she claimed she had a lover who is assumed to be masculine gender despite the law here in Nigeria. So if you go to Instagram and other social media platform, you will see lots of Bob Risky. So you can now start searching for her. <laughs> There's also a new coming gay celebrity here in Niger. Well, I don't know if you have heard about James Brown. Hey, darling, it's your boy James Brown. But I'm an HIV person, they don't even care about it. And they say they're doing investigation. I'm not a gay. What's your name? What's your name? My name is Obiala James. Besides of the strict law here in Nigeria regarding homosexual, they can still actually go out freely in public. So one time, I was in a government house, government office here in Nigeria, and I saw a gay. And I was so surprised. Well, if you're asking about lesbians, yes, they also have lesbians here, and they also have laws regarding lesbian. Any woman who has a feeling of love for another woman, 
woman or girl and went ahead to employ the means of satisfying that passion either through bodily contact or otherwise with or without her consent in order to derive sexual pleasure is said to have committed lesbianism and shall be punished with imprisonment for the term of 14 years and shall be liable to a fine of 50,000 naira. So, of course, it's pretty obvious that same-sex marriage is prohibited here in Nigeria. You know, one of my best friend is a gay and he's not a transgender. We've been friends since we were six years old and he only came out from the closet when he was in the university. But he is not a cross-dresser. He still dressed like a man. My neighbor and also my childhood friend is a gay and we already knew about it when we were young, when we were still children. Because, of course, if you're with somebody, you can determine that the person is a gay. <laughs> anyway, if I'm with them, I don't look at them actually as a uh, gay. I see them as the person that I always know them. Their personality overpower their being gay. I don't judge them as long that they're a good person and they don't do bad to me. Well, we have different perspective with gays. I think it depends on someone's orientation and belief. So I think Filipinos or other nationalities are more open with gays because they are not new to us. I mean, in your everyday life, you will be seeing one or two or more gays. <laughs> I think that is the reason why there's a lot of Nigerian homosexual who chose to travel abroad to travel out of this country for them to express themselves and be free. There are also some Nigerians that marry a woman in the Philippines even though they know that there's a gay in the family of his wife. Because I think here in Nigeria, if the family of the man will know that the wife is related to somebody that is gay, let's say her brother, her sibling is a gay, well, usually they don't want to be involved in that family. But I also heard some stories that you can find numbers of lesbians in the all-girls school here in Nigeria. Well, that one is also in my country. The big question is how they became homosexual. Is it the way they were raised, their orientation, they were inspired by others, or it is in their blood, inherited? <laughs> well, honestly, I don't know. Here in Nigeria, if you talk about gay, homosexual, lesbian, that one is still a taboo. A lot of people still can't accept that kind of practice. That's why I said most of them, they chose to travel out of the country or to leave their family house. I even know one guy, he's a Nigerian guy, and he didn't actually admit that he's a gay, but people around him thinking that he is a gay, and I met him in other country. And he was like telling me before that he built a house in Nigeria, he's just sending money, but he doesn't want to go home. He says that if he will go home, maybe he will only stay there for like two, three days, then he will stay in the hotel. I didn't ask the reason why, but the way he was telling me the story, well, I can understand. <laughs> well, that's the thing here in Nigeria. Nigeria, they have lots of traditions, cultures, and they are preserving it. They are hugging it. Nigerians in abroad are very, very much aware of it. Here in Nigeria, you will still find a lot of conservative people. Well, regarding being gay or homosexual, actually, if you are not in that situation, if you are someone that doesn't have a relation, a family, let's say a sibling, or children that is gay, you really can tell what is your side. Because if you have a gay friend, well, you will say that, I can accept that friend, no problem. He is my friend. I don't care who he is. Even though he's a gay or homosexual, I don't care. He is my friend. But if that one is your sibling or your son, well, that is a different story. Well, my motto this 2021 is you do me, I do you. It means I will treat you the way you treat me. Well, as long that they're not doing bad to me, they don't harm me and they don't insult me, well, that is not a problem with me. That is their life. That is their business. Let me manage my own life. <laughs> okay? So, thank you very much for staying with me tonight and I hope to see you again in my next video. Anyway, if you didn't subscribe yet, 
please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button so every time I have a new video which is almost every day <laughs> you will be notified so thank you again and have a nice evening bye